pencil cake senior says oh my god what happened i looked up and jackie is nearly done yeah. they are going to go head to head in a character design showdown this is kind of nerve-wracking because you have to draw fast but you guys are excellent artists i totally believe in you so we want to start from scratch i'll just share what we've been hearing so far first and foremost male or female yeah. is that what you want to do yeah. Let's do male or female. Female. Okay. Jackie <laughs> says do female. Got it. Okay. Ornery okay. punk rocker female mermaid. You have 40 minutes. Uh, what are things that you all do in moments of burnout to get refreshed and back into it? Um, Burnout, I strongly believe, is like something that your body tells you that you need to be doing differently. And my favorite thing to do during burnout is to straight up rest. You know, like everybody knows about burnout. Everyone has it. It's not, you know, we're not superheroes. So like if I'm having a bad day at work, like that's fine. And I don't like stress over it or make it like really big. So I just like allow myself to have that time to be burnt out and do other things that fuel me and that I enjoy doing. That's good advice. Yeah, what about you, Amanda? Well, I recently figured that one out as well. <laughs> it's really easy to get burnout when you're an artist. And I feel like what Jackie said, it's all so true. Yeah. If you're in the industry though, taking a break isn't necessarily always what you what you can do, but otherwise you're gonna get fired. So, right. Um, in those moments, I like to, to just do a draw something that I wanna draw for myself personally and just get into them get into the mood and then I go from there and yeah. things work out. I mean, I'm re really digging those skull boobs a Thanks. lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, question, why do almost all CalArts students draw in a particular character style? Is there an advantage over other styles? I don't know if I um, recognize a particular style in CalArts students. Do you guys? Well, that I went to Sheridan, there's definitely like a Sheridan style that people are familiar with. I think it's just because you're surrounded by your peers and like you're surrounded by people who draw a certain way and then you kind of like learn from being in that environment. So I definitely think that has something to do with it. Yeah, he oh, so Art of the Covenant good. says the style of CalArts, like the CalArts signature style is Jackie's style. That's interesting. What? <laughs> <laughs> did you go to CalArts? I'm just kidding. No, this is mine. Don't take it away. Jackie, did we talk about where you're from yet? No, we did not. Okay, not. let's talk about that. <laughs> Tell everybody where you're based out of. Um, um, I live in Vancouver right now. Nice. And I'm from okay. Ontario. In Canada. I'm from Canada. I Are you gonna move, move to the US anytime soon? Or would you? Um, um, I was planning to move to the US when I started at Netflix in 2020, but then COVID hit and I did not move. <laughs> but that was the plan. And now since the landscape of um, animation has changed, like it's not so necessary to be in house anymore. So. Um, Isaac. Uh, Ramos Art writes, how do you pronounce Jackie's last name? Jackie, how do you pronounce your last name? You want to give it a guess? <laughs> Drushko. Drushko. Drush. Drush. There's a zhuzh in there. Honestly, it's like a made up word, so who even cares? <laughs> you guys find that when you go to traditional, you start zooming in with your fingers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! Absolutely. <laughs> I remember once time I was working in ZBrush and I was getting really into it and then I was doing my hair and I was doing pigtail braids and I did one braid and I expected the other one to be braided. Because <laughs> of the symmetry tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we have so many um, followers who are following our incredible artists here. So yeah, this is all for the Mermaid official challenge. So check us out, Mermaid official, and we have all of our um, rules and prompts and all of this fun stuff going on all the time. We have like vibes. And and these great competitions and other things that you can enjoy. So yes, please come on over. Someone asked, did you both go to art school? And um, if yes, if no, do you wish you went about going about your art career differently? That's an interesting question. Um, yeah, no, I, did, I never went to art school. I drew since I was little and then fell into Instagram. Yep. <laughs> I came on Instagram thinking, you know what? I just want to draw just to, you know, like an art journal almost. And uh, and it just it helped me grow grow as an artist just to draw every day or draw as often as I, often as I could. So okay, but. you Jackie, you go now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs>
yeah, she's, she's, in, she's, she's in the zone. zone. <laughs> I'm in the zone. I, um, yeah, I went to art school. I went to Sheridan College for animation in Ontario. I'm glad I did that. And now, like, there's a lot of online resources. Like, going to art school absolutely isn't necessary. But for me, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my career. So going to art school and trying out everything was really important to me. And, like, you know, now, if you really know what you want to do, then, you know, you could find that specific course online. But if you don't know what to do, then, like, going to art school really helps. We have a question here that says, any tips on how to draw faster? I am shocked by the speed and perfection that these illustrations are being made. <laughs> I agree, but drawing faster, I used to draw really slow and I did a challenge for myself uh, where I would draw one of my followers every single day for 200 days uh, consecutively. I called it copy draws and um, I only gave myself like a half hour to an hour to draw the post, drink my coffee and post it. And you can see a real significant change in my technical skill over that 200 day challenge, like significant. Yeah, I would say um, my best advice is, you know, oftentimes the reason you go slow is because you're, you know, you want it to be perfect, you're reworking it over and over. But my best advice is to, you know, who cares if it's messy, if it's sketchy, like, doing a bunch of sketches over doing one like long drawing that takes more time is is way more um, helpful for you as an artist what would you guys say to some disney trivia <laughs> right. disney tri <laughs> sure <laughs> where does mike wazowski take his girlfriend celia for the birthday dinner in Monsters, Inc. Oh, like a nice restaurant, isn't it? Yes, but there's a name. Oh, oh this yeah. one's good. What is Belle's father's name in Beauty and the Beast? Oh, oh. the inventor. That's his name. First and last yes. name. Look, Pencil Cakes here says, oh my God, what happened? Been drawing so long. I looked up and Jackie is nearly done. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the same questions here for both of you, Amanda and Jackie. They want to know both of your uh, artists that inspire you. You go ahead, Jackie. <laughs> Distract Jackie, so finish. <laughs> Somebody who really inspired me going into school and that like was a big part of my uh, schooling like that is Jason McLean. He's a really incredible artist that works, um, I think he's at Disney TV. He worked on Monsters at work, speaking of Monsters, Inc. And he went to Sheridan as well. So it's just like, he was just like really inspirational to me. All right, Amanda, can you tell us yours? <laughs> when I was younger, I loved looking at like Norman Rockwell books and oh. um, just old Disney books with Milk Cow and then Nine Old Men and all of those guys. <laughs> um, those are my inspirations. But today as an artist, I think uh, really, I like, like Brian Kessinger, which is one of your judges. Yes! Yeah, even like no names, like people that I just run across from Instagram and stuff, I just get inspired. You know, there's so many good artists out there that are up and coming. Someone asked earlier, and you guys answered the question, but it's like, would you, you know, change your career if you had, you know, gone to college or not gone to college? And it's like, when, because we're a bit older, <laughs> like when we went to art school, we kind of had to because there was an industry night and that's when, you know, you get, all the studios to come through and see your work and potentially hire you. But now with social media, like you can be seen, you can be discovered just by putting yourself out there. Like with social media, it's like completely changed the game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Just by the way, guys, you have six minutes. <laughs> Everyone here in the comments there's, are gonna vote for their favorite. Everyone's saying, no, 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 I can't <laughs> vote. I, I vote both. They just cannot decide. Yeah. Wow, I think it might be a tie already, but okay. Both are so lit. So weird using these young terms. <laughs> I know. I'm like old. So I don't know any of the Gen Z terms. Jackie, are you Gen Z? Um, I don't know. Am I Gen Z? I'm 96. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, you're young. I don't remember <laughs> when the cutoff is for millennial. Do you 92. remember? 92. Oh yeah. I just so found this out last night. She's Gen Z then. So then you're allowed you're to say lit. <laughs> allowed to say lit. That's. Yeah. That's lit. You got the Riz. Um, oh, Riz. <laughs> okay, pencils down. All right. Pencils down. We must, we must. Let's see them. Both, both, both. 
I did see a lot of turtle ladies. Yeah, Amanda. <laughs> okay, I've got two Amandas, Jackie. <laughs> oh my gosh, so someone just voted Jackie Amanda. No! <laughs> Jackie Amanda! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, there's her Jackie's thumb. I love it. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right, yeah, thanks, so nice guys. Lots of fun. Bye. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.